On March 28th, a law was repealed that prevented internet service providers from selling your internet history to third parties. Um, previously, they were able to collect your internet history and use it for their own companies, but now they have been allowed to sell it among some other things. Um, so the first question you're probably asking yourself is why? Um, who does this benefit? And the answer is no one aside from those ISPs at this time. Um, there may be something uncovered later that uh, we don't know now, but currently it only benefits those ISPs. Um, the next question you want to ask yourself is how can I prevent this or how can I avoid this? Um, and the easiest answer is with a proxy or VPN. Um, better with a VPN than a proxy, mainly because a proxy, while it will hide your IP address, it doesn't really encrypt your data. Um, whereas a VPN will actually, it'll you know, hide your IP address and it will encrypt your data so that when your ISP gains your data or gets it back, it's all encrypted and they have to try and decrypt it, which they probably won't go through the time to do. Um, so a few good VPNs to do this are TunnelBear. Um, TunnelBear is a free for, you get 500 megabytes of data a month on TunnelBear. Um, and then after that, you can pay to have unlimited data um, either on a monthly or yearly basis. There is also um, a VPN called Hide My Ass, um, and that is entirely paid. There is no free service, but it is unlimited data um, and unlimited device connections. There is also a, uh, a third VPN called Viper VPN um, that has a premium payment that gives you unlimited devices connected to the network um, or to that particular VPN. You There's also a fourth software VPN called privateinternetaccess.com. This was recommended by Sean Chambers um, in a technology Facebook group. You can also have hardware VPNs. Um, there are computer-based hardware VPNs and also network-based hardware VPNs. Um, a network-based hardware VPN would connect to your router and then would encrypt the entire network as opposed to just a single computer. So any computer that connects to that network automatically connects to a VPN and then um, it, the data is encrypted by that VPN. Um, you can also have a hardware for your computer, which is just a USB plug-in to your computer and it operates the same way as the hardware would. It connects to your network and then connects to a VPN and then all your data is encrypted by that VPN. Um, uh, we have selected two different hardware VPNs, one that connects to your computer and one that connects to the network. The one that connects to your computer is called Tunneler. It's available on Amazon. Um, it's called Tunneler, Tunneler VPN Router. Um, it's a, an on-a-box router. It connects directly to your router via a LAN cable and then your, all of your data um, that goes through that router is encrypted. Um, so it will still, of course, go to your ISP, and this is true for any VPN, but because it's encrypted, the chances of your ISP taking the time to try and decrypt it are slim to none. Um, the computer hardware is called um, TinyVPN, um, and it's just a little USB stick. It's about yay big, and it plugs into a USB plug on your computer, and all the work is done. You're connected. It should be kept in mind that these VPNs have the same laws applied to them as a ISP would. So they can also sell your information. However, in their terms, both the ISPs and VPN service providers are required to tell you if they are saving and or selling your information. So you should keep that in mind when you're looking for any VPN that you are trying to use. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, please tweet us at OfficeDivi or at AskTheInterns.